Dial, when you look at uh, the success of the team, despite all the things that have kind of gone on, um, Quiddy kind of talked about it a little bit, but how much do you think that is a reflection of just your head coach and, and maybe what he's instilled since he's got here in Indianapolis? Yeah, I mean, I think he really pushes everybody to be their best. Um, he expects the best. As he expects, you know, high-level performances, and I don't think he'll accept anything less. And I think that kind of resonates as far as, like, with the players. Um, I think he has full faith in every player, and he shows that. So, I, I mean, it gives us – gives everybody confidence in our, our our own abilities and confidence in each other. So, um, yeah, I think as far as kind of just his attitude and his approach to it has definitely helped us kind of get through adversity. Isaiah, yeah, you've been – part of playoff races before uh in your time in buffalo like what's the the key to acknowledging that these games have a lot of weight on them but not like looking too far ahead and not putting too much on them almost um i just feel like we just got to stay consistent because you know the mindset is you know at the beginning of the season a lot of people were like you know kind of counting the coach out like yeah the coach a, a young team and you know they're gonna do a good do a couple of good things but not you know, try to make a playoff run maybe or whatnot. You know, it is what it is. But at the same time, you know, having that mindset of like, okay, we're five and five and a lot of teams around the league are either five and five or either, you know, one win up or things like that. And I feel like we just got to take one game at a time. Even though, like you said, every game is a major game. But like now it's like crunch time. You know, we're in November, December where real football is really, you know, really played. And um, I heard, I think Bill Belichick said that. And um, we can possibly, you know, do some things and uh, make a playoff run. And I'm, and I'm, I'm happy to see where we're at, and I'm happy to see where we're going. Dial, having a big game like you did in Germany coming into the bye, does it give you a little more energy, you know, on the off week? And then how do you kind of carry that momentum over both individually and as a defense? Yeah, I mean, it, it feels good, you know, even, you know, as a team to go into a bye, you know, with a win after a good game, you know, especially defensively. So it feels good to go in, in into a bye with that and just have that, you know, a better taste in your – taste going into the game or going into the buy. So, I mean, but at the end of the day, it just comes down to coming back to the middle, uh, getting back to the work that got you there. And, and you know, that, I feel like that's what, as an individual and as a team that's, that we're, you know, doing this week is just getting back to what got us, you know, the last through the last couple of weeks and has allowed us to get wins the last couple of weeks. What do you think is the key to, to making the offense a little more consistent and just, I guess, less start and stop, if that makes sense? Um, I just feel like it needs to be, you know, overall, you know, officer line, quarterback, running back, receivers, you know, we all just got to do our job and be consistent and um, attention to detail. I think that's the most important thing. Attention to detail is very important, especially playing in this league and everybody is, is a game of inches and everybody's in the, always in the right spot. You know, a guy's going to be a little bit faster and, uh, you know, a coach is going to call a dial up a play and we just got to be attention to detail. Got to be very, very enforced and I feel like it is being enforced you know in this you know in our offense things like that we just got to get it done as players and and show that on the field and Dio you just kind of mentioned how you and the rest of the defensive line you guys want to find ways to get your sack numbers up and I mean especially with such a crucial slate of games these next seven weeks how do you guys go about doing that uh yeah I mean it just stays, comes down to trusting your plan trusting your uh rushes uh staying consistent in the work you know Obviously, staying healthy, you know, do, taking care of your body through this stretch of stretch of games at the end of the season. Um, yeah, it just comes down to staying consistent. You know, sometimes you might be winning rushes and the ball is out, out quick or you might be getting chipped. Uh, it just comes down to not, not getting frustrated and staying consistent, and then they'll, they'll come and they come in bunches. And so do you view these past couple of games, whether it be the Panthers game and the Patriots game, a welcome sign? Because you give a lot of sacks. Uh, guys like Adetamwa, Eric, Taekwon, they all get in on the action. Is that a welcome sign for the group? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's great as far as like, you know, everybody. we see everybody, you know, pushing and fighting uh, to affect the quarterback consistently. So when you see, you know, guys, especially young guys too, um, seeing their numbers increase, I mean, it's great. And it just shows that, you know, the work is working. You just got to stay consistent and everybody's numbers will go through the roof.